All right, so star of the C136 was my first account on YouTube. So my channel, my first YouTube channel was stolen from me. I thought it was deleted and some girl just took the old username I had. But if you go over here to discussion, all these conversations besides this video, this comment that I left, all these conversations are conversations that I had with my friend 10 years ago when I still had access to my channel. Castor G, which was one of my video editing friends, Dakota K, who was one of my real life high school friends. Sophie Willard, who I'm gonna show you the dubbing video that I did with her. And um, Heather Fries, who I was friends with then. We don't talk anymore, but I'm still friends with her on Facebook. And um, Crazy Blonde 13, who I'm gonna start with, who is my real life friend from elementary school. We're still good friends to this day. Um, you can see here, <laughs> once it loads, you can see here, that's her. Come on, my computer is very slow right now. Okay, you can see that this is her right here. And this YouTube video I made with her, that's very obviously her. You can see it's her channel again, very obviously her. And even down, even down in the comments, here's her comment and here's Castor G's comment because <laughs> he'd seen this video before. It was a re-upload that I did because I had to take all the copyrighted music out of it. And then even in one of my new videos, my new video, um, just waiting for the comments now. Um, you can see her commenting. So obviously <sighs> we're still friends and she was commenting these things to me on the other channel, not to this girl who's taken it. And on my newest video, um, you can see this comment from Warren G, Caster G. And you can see our discussion about how we've been keeping in touch since my Final Fantasy AMV days. <laughs> uh, Sophie Willard now, who I did dubbing videos with. We used to make like little, um, we used to redub Final Fantasy in English just for fun. And sometimes we would make videos where we used Final Fantasy characters to make our own stories and stuff. You know, just fun things that kids do and adults, of course, like, you know, whatever you do, having your free time, totally. If you have fun doing something, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, hiding episode two and hiding episode one. I'm going to show you episode one. I, my voice is in both, but you can see that, um, very obviously my voice. Okay. Obviously me. And I've been commenting <laughs> in all the videos to say, I'm just like, I'm just trying to get back in touch with my friends, honestly. Um, is there anyone else I can show you here? Uh, Mitsugamesh. Uh, um, I don't know if I'm credited with star of the C136 or C of Bitterness 136, which was my other account that I just used for dubbing. Um, all 
All right, I'm credited as a sea of bitterness, but I'll go over to sea of bitterness and show you the connections that it has to star of the C-136 in just a moment. And that's me talking in a lower voice so that it can sound like lightning, I guess. <laughs> I used to get cast as lightning a lot. People liked me doing lightning. <laughs> that was a lot of, honestly, just like a lot of good fun. And so now that I've shown you that, I'll go to Sea of Bitterness, 136, to show you the um, advertisement that I did for that video, Lightning Promotes. So you see there. That's my voice again. Probably have to mute this one though. This is Star of the Sea 136. And Sea of Fitness 136. 2009, back when I did all the videos. Once again, the original video that I had on my Starbs the C136 count is private. So they're still there. I have some hope. If I could get this account back, I could at least go and download all my old videos. Um, Star of the C136. So that's just like a competition video I did. There was this competition that I was in. And this girl's Azaran's video. And all these videos on the side are of... Um, like AMV, anime music video editors that I really liked. Azran, Heather Fries, and Caster G are on the side there because they were two of my favorites and also two of my good friends back in the day. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. BBT round three. I made it to round three in this competition. And it made me really, really happy. Um, see, those videos from 2009. Those were like the big days for AMVs, I think. Um, all right, sounds off. Don't need to worry about copyright strikes now. Um, oh, there I am. Star of the C-136. And I was really proud of myself to make it so far in this video, I mean, in this competition, it gave me like a lot of confidence because I'm, there were five rounds and I got cut out in the fourth round because this person was very talented, but to make it halfway through the competition and there were like, we start, there was, it, this competition started with so many people and like a lot, I think at least half of them had been cut up by this point and the fact that I, made it this far i made a comment six years ago the fact that i made it this far meant a lot to me it gave me such a confidence boost here's mitsugamish mitsuka gesama <laughs> i always pronounce her name wrong again i used to pronounce it wrong back then too i just say it too fast i don't want anyone to give any hate to the girl. don't go and find her online because i think like this is like a weird like company thing i don't even know if it's this girl specifically who like is running this account maybe they just like have her as like the face but you see the videos are in spanish and like why would all the discussion from 10 years ago be in english if i was spanish speaking that's not me obviously um but like what really weirds me out is that it's for this company who is from Colombia. Why did a company from Colombia have to steal a teenage girl's YouTube account? I have a weird conspiracy theory that it's because they needed to look like they were located in Canada, maybe, to sell products. I'm not even sure. That is my best guess. <sighs> Cosmetics industry in Colombia. I 
think they sell toothpaste. I like am so confused as to why they needed to steal my channel. I needed to start all over with another channel. You can see on my um, main channel, on this channel, um, I subscribe just because I want to see if she updates anymore. Because um, two years ago, one years ago, as you can see, um, I made this channel back in 2008 when I was in high school. I was about grade 10, 11. And um, this account that I have now, I made in 2010 after I realized that I couldn't sign into my old account anymore. I think at that point, my videos were still not private. I just made a new account though. I uploaded one GMV video, but I deleted it. And um, since then I have just, um, at the beginning, I just uploaded my um, film school videos, and then I started making vlogs. Honestly, this gives me s such a stomach ache. Like, I don't want to put this girl on blast, and I don't want to put the company on blast either, just in case, like, they're not, like, affiliated with this, but let's... I don't understand why. <laughs> they stole my channel from me because like when I was younger editing videos meant a lot to me like they might be silly videos they might be anime and game music videos that I made with footage that I didn't own and songs that I like you don't can't use on YouTube um but it was how I discovered editing and it's how I realized my love for editing it's the reason I went to film school and the reason I'm in the profession that I'm in now, working as a, um, a production assistant. And um, it's the reason why I've made so many um, good friends working on really cool productions like Sofa Queens that I just did last year. I'll link them in the bottom, a little promotion. <laughs> um, it's a very good show. Um, <clears throat> and also, being able to go to Sea of Bitterness and looking at all the comments that people have left or like go to channels that I've linked to, I've been able to get back in touch with old friends. The Final Fantasy dubbing group edition that I did for um, a girl's um, Final Fantasy dubbing group. Um, let's see if I can find them here. There she is, Heather. Um, I went back and I, uh, <clears throat> I was able to get back in touch with her and now we're friends on Twitter and that's the friendship that could be rekindled now. So, all my old videos on the, my old YouTube channel, not safe but in this one, but um, on Star of the Sea, they're all private, so I can't see them. I can't see any of the comments that are on them. So all the video editing friends that I had I can't get back in touch with them. I don't know what, I don't remember their usernames and I don't even know their real names. I know Heather's real name now because we're friends on Twitter and like putting your real name online isn't as big of a deal as it was back in the day. Stranger danger, the internet is unsafe, everything's forever kind of stuff that they told us to scare us, to keep us safe. But, um, all I want is to be able to access my old videos again because it's important to me. It's like my old high school art. This is how I learned how to edit. This is what made me realize I liked editing. It's what got me into film, it made me realize I loved film. It's the reason why I worked on Sofa Queens and I'm going down this career path that I'm on. Like when I was younger, I always dreamed of editing my own footage. And that's what I do now. 
and it just makes me so sad that I can't see where I began because I don't have these videos saved. When I was younger, I never saved them on my computer because they were safe on YouTube. I never expected someone to steal my account and, you know, and like these videos couldn't exist on YouTube anymore just because they used copyrighted music and stuff. I just really want to have access to them again. I want to be able to watch where I started because when I was younger, this was really important to me. And maybe editing AMVs doesn't hold the same importance to me now, but at one point it did. And I just wish that I could see the things that I created and see how far I've come. And honestly, I like the stuff that I made. I think if I watched it now, I'd like it too. It would give me like a really nice sense of nostalgia. I just don't understand why they had to steal some teenage girl's channel rather than making their own. <laughs> I'm like actually really upset. <laughs> Uh, maybe this is a crazy video to make, but uh, I just, if someone could help me get access to my channel again, <laughs> I wrote that yesterday when I was, when I found out, I was like, really like, because I put so much work into this account. She only has three subscribers here. I think maybe when I made it, I had 20. I don't know if they unsubscribed because they all these like weird videos were popping up on the channel or if like their accounts were deleted. Really cool. And so one of the reasons I want to get back my Star of the Sea channel is because I can go and look through all the comments and get back in touch with all the old friends I had when I was a teenager. Because there's so many internet friends that I've fallen out of touch with. And it makes me really sad because we used to have, like, um, community boards, like, on Reddit. But it wasn't Reddit. I for can't think of the name right now. Brain fog. But um, I used to talk to them a lot about Final Fantasy and such. And just, like, things that we were um, interested in. And internet friends are important. They're just as important as real life friends. And when I was younger, making friends in real life was really hard because I was a little shy and I didn't realize I had anxiety yet. I didn't, hadn't like built up all my coping mechanisms that I have now. So it was harder for me to make friends in real life. I could count my friends on one hand. I still can really, but like I have more acquaintances in my life now that I can keep in touch with too. But um, I just want to be able to get back in touch with all these girls that I was friends with back then. And I can't right now. And it really upsets me. This theft of my channel stole friends from me too. And that's the part that I'm really upset about. <clears throat> I don't know. I just wanted to make it. I might not get my channel back. That really sucks, but I have like a strong sense of justice that I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm like really mad. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs>